Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can replace the linear bearing uh, on your uh, duplicator i3 mini uh, on your X axis in case you need to uh, replace it. And for that, you need to start it from here and loosen uh, these two bolts, uh, which keeps the extruder uh, tight here and just loosen the bolts and remove them remove the extruder and just carefully put it down on the print bed and there are another two bolts right here again you have to remove them and just separate the linear bearing from this block and uh, later uh, we have another two bolts here and one set of screw right here so you need again to remove these bolts remove these two bolts right here and uh, loosen this set of screw as you can see which actually keeps the uh, shaft tight and then uh, you just need to just be careful carefully try to remove the linear bearing here and as you can see uh, just don't press it too much and avoid uh, bend the shaft so and when you receive the new linear bearing then just put it back put it back first and uh, put this plug back first and uh, if it's me I am going to put these two bolts here first as you can see mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find the hole here if I can find the if I can find it yeah and don't hide it uh, at the first and uh, put the other bolts put the other bolt here just try to find the hole and uh, and now you can tighten two of them And just simply tighten them and then tighten the set screw on the shaft and make sure it's keeping it fit and tight and later we have these two bolts which keeps the linear bearing tight here on the block and uh, I have another one here so you have to put them together before you put the extruder on. Don't forget about these. And uh, one right here. And then simply put back the bolts and tie, tie it on the, uh, the block which keeps the extruder tied on it. And make sure everything is okay. 